The Wolf of Wall Street, the hit Hollywood film about a stockbroker who scammed investors out of millions of dollars, was allegedly financed with stolen money. Was all this legal? Absolutely not. Former Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak is accused of being the man behind that cash. Now he risks spending the rest of his life behind bars. Najib has been charged in an investigation into how billions of dollars of taxpayers' money went missing from 1MDB, a state development fund he founded. The money was apparently used to buy luxury properties and yachts, finance films and acquire art from around the world. Najib has pleaded not guilty to corruption and breach of trust and faces up to 20 years in prison. The bank accounts of his family have been frozen. They posted part of his bail and his supporters collected donations for the rest. What I hope is that the judicial process is a process that is truly fair, following the rule of law. I'm confident in my innocence. This is the best chance to clear my name. Najib was Malaysia's prime minister until two months ago, and his surprising election defeat prevented him from blocking further 1MDB investigations. The country's new leader, Mohatir Mohamed, had promised to prosecute crooked politicians if elected. And now it looks like he's made good on his word. I'm glad that we finally can see some justice being served against uh, our corrupt uh, leaders. Um, but at the same time, I think this is just the beginning. I'm not really sure um, why the current governments of the day are doing this to him. Uh, if he is uh, guilty, let the court decide. One MDB was set up by Najib in 2009 and was promoted to Malaysians as a way to attract foreign investment and development in the country. But six years later, it was missing payments to banks and bondholders. Subsequent investigations found at least $4 billion had been pumped out of the fund, including $730 million that U.S. prosecutors say ended up in Najib's personal accounts. Money from the fund is believed to have passed through the U.S., Singapore and Switzerland which are just a few of the countries investigating the case. When Najib was in power, his government refused to cooperate with foreign prosecutors on 1MDB. He's also been accused of controlling Malaysia's courts as well as its media. Political rivals and critics who challenged him, like opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim, ended up in prison. Najib is the first to face trial in the 1MDB scandal, and many hope his arrest is a step forward for justice in Malaysia, where corruption has seemed commonplace in the highest ranks of government. Christine Pitovolakis, The Newsmakers.